Hi, Bruce from Safari, and I'm here today to explain how Vectron solved the problem of voltage loss between a solar controller and a battery, which results in slower charging and very inefficient power loss. The problem is easy to solve by increasing the voltage output from the solar controller. The issue is by how much. And Victron solved that by introducing a Bluetooth mesh network. The Safari Lithium battery communicates to the solar controller its exact voltage. And the solar controller takes that voltage, compares it with what it's measuring on the cable and increases the charge output accordingly. Now to do this, you have to create a Bluetooth mesh network to start with. And in the following experiment, we're going to show you what we've actually done here to demonstrate it. So we've got the solar controller, the Bluetooth uh, mesh network. We've got 30 meters of only three mil squared cable here to really exaggerate the voltage loss of the solar's coming into the panel. Now the first thing we're going to do is create the Bluetooth mesh network and join together the Safari Lithium battery and the Victron solar controller into the network and then set the settings in the solar controller. Now we're going to see what the panel voltage is uh, coming in from the solar panel and then to see what the value is that's transmitted over the Bluetooth mesh network to the solar controller, which we're going to see on the phone here is 13.3 volts. The actual measured voltage coming out of the controller is 15. So the controller is putting 1.7 volts out more to compensate for the voltage loss. Just sensational. Thank you.